and welcome to TV TV Sport and to the MA Hart Stadium where we've got a cup final on our hands. It's Parkstone Athletic against New Milton Borough in the Nicholas Reed Cup Final. <music> TV TV Sport is lucky enough to be supported by two great guys. One is Steve at All Clean Waste Management. Whether it's domestic, commercial or office waste, give Steve a shout for a no obligation quote, but don't ask him for a hobnob. Coming on board for the last third of the season is Bruce at Scammell Associates. He does financial advice, so if you need any of those services on the right-hand side, give him a shout. Next up for me is the weekend. It's Hanworth United against Southall FC in the FA Bars quarter-final. What a game that's going to be. Highlight on Sunday. I create these highlights free of charge. All I ask in return is that if you like it, you hit the thumbs up on YouTube. If you've got something to say, you leave a comment. And if you love it, you subscribe. So come on, show the love, and I might even carry on doing it next season. Let's have a look at our cup final squads. Right, I think we're all done and ready to roll. These highlights are brought to you, as ever, by TV TV. <laughs> what I love about covering these finals is that literally every touch and every move is greeted with such enthusiasm. In the opening exchanges, we were treated to a couple of half chances and a couple of clatterings. first golden opportunity felt the Parkstone's Callum Holden, but it posed more danger to the car park than Ollie Whitehouse's goal. <laughs> Soon after, Whitehouse was called into action. <laughs> Midway through the half, Carl Joyce not only jumps like a salmon, but gets to know what it feels like to be a salmon in the net. Injury to White House allowed me time to pan around the crowd, which clocked in an amazing 345. <laughs> the longer the match went on, the more prominent Storm Graham, Parkstone's number 11, became in the match. Watch him go, watch the runner! <laughs> There's nothing like a bit of shit housing to endear yourself to the crowd. This match was shaping up to have a bit of everything. Even the ref's got skills. Parts though may have been creating the majority of the chances, but New Milton Borough posed the threat on the break.
We're just over the half hour mark now and Parkstone are pushing again with this cross from Alex Ains causing all sorts of problems, not to mention heroics. <laughs> There's some absolutely heroic defending going on here, including the header on the floor for number 14, Ed Watts. Borough's biggest chance came courtesy of Alex Corbin, set free by Charlie King. Just before half time, and we're entering a pattern of play which left everyone saying, What a save! On 49 minutes, Ethan Fishlock decided to go on a bit of a run. Storm Graham benefits from that final overhit touch and buries into the left corner. Off the back of this clearance, Cole Joyce went off on a bit of a run, which reminded me of someone. Charlie King got a bit animated here, and I could probably throw in a joke about handbags, but nah. <laughs> Talking of handbags. <laughs> On the stroke of the hour, Storm Graham strikes again and puts Parkstone two up. By now the passages of play were pretty much one way and it was all going uphill. 
And just five minutes after Storm Graham's second goal. More great work from Joyce sets up his strike partner to Noshi Satrick. I suppose when you hit a rich vein of form, you might as well make the most of it. A lovely little back heel from Louis McWilliams sets up Graham and he slots his fourth into his favourite corner. In the 81st minute, it's George Dean who puts the cherry on the icing on the top of a green cake, whilst number three for New Milton Borough, Hayden Owen, just stares into space. Rumour has it, he's still there now. Congratulations to Parkstone Athletic on lifting the cup and commiserations to New Milton Borough.
If you've liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you really loved it, consider subscribing. Next up from me is this weekend when Hanworth United hosts Southall FC in the FA Vars quarterfinal. One of these teams could be two wins from Wembley, so needless to say it's a massive game. Highlights will be up on Sunday.